Welcome to ClickView Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Good. I'm a Solutions Architect here at ClickTech. In this video, we're going to look at document chaining and passing parameters through the URL. So this particular document I've opened up on, on my server, uh, and I've come into the default state. Now, I may want to have specific selections made when I, when I open the document, or I may want to be brought to a specific sheet. You can do this through, through the open in function. However, you may want to make it more dynamic. Uh, for example, you maybe want to pass parameters in when you're coming from an external URL, or maybe passing parameters between ClickView documents by opening one ClickView document from clicking on an object inside a, a, another ClickView document. The general syntax for this is you use the, the URL that's already existing, so you can see up there at the top, and then we're going to add additional parameters. So the first thing we'll look at is adding a, a selection. Prior to doing that, what we need to know is we need to know which list box we're going to make a selection on. So what I'm going to do is open up actual ClickView file here, which is the document1.qvw. And that opens up here. And uh, perhaps we want to select year 2010 on the order year list box here, so that selection here. The information we're going to need is need to know what the, uh, the ID of the list box is, and then we'll be able to create the URL. Right click. Go to Properties, and then we'll note that the object ID is LB07, list box 07. So in order to force ClickView uh, to select our, on 2010 on list box 07, LB07, uh, we just need to modify the URL slightly. So what we're going to do is take the URL up in the address bar, and then we're going to add a little bit of extra information to tell ClickView to make a selection on a specific list box. So We'll write ampersand, select equals, and then we want list box 07. That was the list box we looked up before. That's this list box here, the order year one. And then we put a comma, and we write in the selection that we want. So in our case, let's use 2010. I'll just highlight that. And I'm going to copy that onto my clipboard. I'm going to close down my web browser and reopen it. And now when I paste that in, you can see I have that extra extra little bit there, select equals list box 07, LB07, comma 2010. When I, hit, when I hit enter, I will be now brought into the ClickView document, but the selection will already be made for me. And there we go. Of course, I could change the, uh, the parameters in here. If this is 2011 and I reload it, same thing happens when I'm on 2011. So this technique can be re really useful if you're going to have ClickView being launched from an external web page, and perhaps your users will be making selections on that external web page for something, or you want to direct the user directly to something. We also can take this a little bit further, and we can chain ClickView documents um, using the same technique. So if I go back into the ClickView uh, document itself, the QVW file, we'll open that up. I can create a button down here. And I could have this button open up another document. So we'll create a new button, and we'll call it Open Doc 2. And then the action here we're going to add will be an external action, and it's going to be Open URL. And now I need to find out what my URL is going to be. So we'll just jump back over to our uh, access point. And we'll just go quickly to access point here. And here's document 2. I click on document 2, and that's the URL for document 2. I'll just copy that on my clipboard. Go back over to click view and paste that in as the URL we're going to do, go to for document 1. Click OK. And then click OK again. So now I can test this right from uh, Click View Desktop, clicking on the button, and it's asking me if I want to execute and open up the other document. I say yes. And there I am, I'm brought directly into document two, which is a little bit different layout. Uh, once I save that in Click View Desktop, back over in Click View Desktop, and if I go back to Access Point and enter document one, I now have that button there. I can click on it, and Click View opens up document two a few tabs open here, so let's close them down. I can also make this um, more dynamic if I choose to. 
So, for example, I may want to look and see which year I have selected and have this button open up document to with that year. Uh, open up this uh, button again. We'll go right click into the properties. So I'm going to adjust the URL and I'm going to make it dynamic and I'm also going to add in the parameter password we talked about before. So we'll put equals, single quote. And then we need to add on the, uh, the, the additional information to select a specific uh, list box and a spe specific parameter. So that's going to be ampersand select equals LB07, comma, 2010 was what we wrote before. Instead of writing 2010, what we're going to do is we're going to close off that statement and then we're going to select the max value for order year. So what that will do is just it'll it'll select the maximum value for order year from document one, and then when we open up document two, the same select will be made in document two. We could make that more complicated. We could do a test to check to see if uh, if there is any selection. If there's no selection, we can have uh, document two open up with no selection. In this case, I've elected to just have it open up uh, with a max order year. So now when I click open document two, you can see that the URL is a little bit different. and It's going to be select list box 07 and then 2011 because that's the max order year. And if I say no and I select on 2009, when I click on there, you can see now it says 2009. We'll click yes, and we can see it's working, and I have opened up document two and made a selection. Minimize my browser again, back and click view desktop. We'll save that because we know it's working. And we'll open the browser back up, close out the two documents we have open, and now we can open up document one. We have the button in the lower right hand corner, and if I make a selection, say on 2010, and I click on to open document two, I now open up document two and the selection is made on 2010. I can close this uh, and, uh, and then I can uh, click on say 2009 and do the same procedure and now I'm brought into document two with the selection already made on 2009. That concludes quick few tips and tricks for this session. For more information on using ClickView, please take a look at Click Community. And also remember we have our expert services and our partners who can assist you with your specific deployment. Thank you.